Vincent A says she hasn't been able to trust her husband since she found out he slept with his ex. Quincy says he loves his wife, Ansonay, and will do anything to prove he's worthy of her trust again. Quincy, please join us in the circle of truth. <laughs> to our communication and body language expert, Blanca Cobb, has been watching and analyzing Quincy throughout the show to determine whether he has been honest about the extent of his affair. Blanca, is there anything you noticed in Quincy's body language today that suggests his affair was not just a one-time thing? What I'm noticing is that there was a lot of stress behaviors when he was feeling uncomfortable at certain talking points. So for example, when he said, I'm over it and she needs to get over it too, he gave a little shoulder shrug. When you give a shoulder shrug, that indicates uncertainty. So to me, in my interpretation, what that meant that he's not sure whether his wife can get over it. Also, when he's hearing things that he doesn't like, that he wants to block out, he's given an, an eye close like this just for a half a second or a second. You do this when you want to block out something you don't want to hear. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's lying because sometimes he wasn't even talking during these moments, but there is some emotion that he is feeling that his body is actually leaking. Let's take a look at Quincy's body language during his sit down interview with our producers. We never were physically involved after that one time. never slept with another woman since then. Okay. It's very fair to say that I'm, I'm no longer cheating on her. I do pray constantly that she would trust me again. Somebody was thirsty. Blanca, what cues are you picking up from Quincy? One, when picking up the water and drinking it to quench his thirst, what happens is high stress situation, when you're feeling anxiety, when you're feeling tension, your mouth naturally gets dry. That saliva dries up, so you're going to drink some water. It's also nervous behavior. It gives you some time to think. As you're picking it up, you can think, what am I going to say next as you put it down? A lot of high stress behaviors. All right. Quincy, Antone, it's time to face the truth. Judge Mary, what's your verdict on this? Well, I can tell you for certain that our Lord is all forgiving, and, and he wouldn't want you to continue for another seven years, really, in, in the condition that you are living with him in, in terms of wondering and curiosity. You need to get on with your life, and, that, and that's why you have a life. Yeah. Dr. Judy. So the two of you guys have a lot of hard thinking to do, but on Sine, all of this still does go back to the fact that you've had some hard relations in the past and some trust issues, and you do have some self-esteem issues that you have to work through whether you stay in this relationship or another one. So what we're gonna do for you is we're sending you to therapy to build your confidence and face those underlying issues from your past. And if you decide you wanna work this out with Quincy, you can do this in couples counseling. If you decide to do it individually to work out your own issues and be really ready for a great man, then you can use that therapy too. Katrina Williams of Connecting Dots Counseling Services is going to give you one year of her services, however you want it. Rosie? Another struggle for you, Ansane, has been your weight and your emotional eating. So we've set you up with three months of nutrition coaching with Kristen Seismer of Elite Nutrition and Performance for you to get healthy and take care of you because you deserve it. If you do decide to stay in this marriage, we want to help you do that. So the Excellent Marriage, that's an organization, they're inviting you to their whole marriage retreat. It's a weekend retreat in the North Carolina Smoky Mountains and just to help you guys rebuild the foundation of your marriage. Do you think this is something you're ready for? You, you think you want to try it one more time? Yes. No. It's something that I, I need. Thank you, Blanca. Also, thank you, Quincy and Antone. Thank you. I wish you guys the best, and we thank you for having the courage to come on our show and face the truth. Thank you.